The PAC trial is a, an academic trial, it's a randomized phase two trial, placebo controlled, it was set up to test and investigate the value of adding an AKT inhibitor, ACT5363 or Capivacertib, to standard paclitaxel first-line chemotherapy in patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. The study was set up as an alliance uh, of the National Cancer Research Network in the UK and Cancer Research UK and was run by Queen Mary University London as the sponsor of the trial. The trial recruited 140 patients, 68 patients in the Capivacertib group, 70 patients in the placebo group. The, what we present here at ASCO are the final data for progression-free survival, which was the primary endpoint for this trial. The trial did meet its primary endpoint. There was a statistically significant benefit in progression-free survival from 4.2 to 5.9 months, and that met the, the predefined boundaries. There was also, and more importantly, a statistically significant benefit in the secondary endpoint of overall survival from 12.6 to 19.1 months. That's, in my opinion, a very important finding as we haven't really had trials in metastatic triple negative breast cancer that have shown a, a, a clear benefit in, in overall survival. We also looked at a subgroup, a predefined subgroup of patients who have activation of the PR3K AKT mTOR pathway. And that was defined by either deletions of P10, activating mutations of PIK3CA, or mutations of AKT1. That group was about 24% of the overall population. When we looked at that group, we saw a, a, a massive statistically significant benefit for the addition of the AKT inhibitor to paclitaxel. The hazard ratio was 0.3. Uh, when we looked at overall survival, again, we had a, 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 a significant benefit in this subgroup. Whereas in the subgroup without PIK3CA, AKT or P10 alterations, there was no clear benefit from the addition of the AKT inhibitor. These data have to be seen in context with a second randomized phase two trial that's being presented at ASCO as an update. It's the LOTUS trial with a different AKT inhibitor called ipatacertib. And again, that trial had previously reported a significant benefit in progression-free survival, again, predominantly in the group with, of patients who have activations of the peak PI3 kinase AKT M2 or pathway. And what the updated uh, results from this meeting showed was there's also a six-month survival benefit in this second study. So we now have two double-blinded, randomized phase two trials in first-line setting in metastatic triple negative breast cancer, which both show a six-month survival benefit in a subgroup where we had previously failed to clearly show have any drugs that, that improve survival. And I think that's a meaningful, a meaningful result. Clearly, it has to be further confirmed in phase three trials but, uh, but we remain enthusiastic about the potential of these drugs. So I think the phase three, there's already an ongoing phase three trial with ipatacertib in, 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 in the same situation in patients who have pathway activations by pic 3 ca activating mutations, AKT mutations or P10 deletions, and it is a, practically a similar design, paclitaxel with and without ipatacertib. Again, the, the results for PACT are currently being evaluated and, and, and a decision has to be made how the phase three program will move forward.